The show Slugterra is set in a fictional underground world called Slugterra, which is inhabited by various magical creatures known as slugs. Slugs are tiny creatures with special powers and are used in duels as ammunition for powerful blasters. The protagonist of the series is Ellie Shane, a young teenager who comes to Slugterra to become the greatest slug slinging hero. It all starts with Will Shane and Black, two students under the wing of an unbeatable master called Shanai. However, Black chose the dark side, making the two arch enemies. However, why did it choose evil? Well, in one episode, Black recounts his life story, starting with the abandonment by his father, forcing him into a lawless cavern where he served Vigo Dare. Black describes his rise to power, including his rejection by the unbeatable master, his enduring rivalry with Will Shane, and his discovery of dark water, which led to experiments and the creation of a terra portal to the deep caverns. He recounts being pulled into the portal by a dark bane, turning his skin white and forging an alliance with them. Basically, the guy was screwed from the get-go. No wonder he turned out like this. Several years later, the show kicks off with a duel between Will Shane and Dr. Black, where Shane is ultimately swallowed by a black hole created by a malfunctioning gold slug. He manages to shoot his loyal slug, Burpee, instructing him to find his son Eli and lead him to a hidden letter. Fast forward five years, and we meet Ellie Shane, armed with his father's legacy and guided by the loyal slug, Burpee. With Trixie and Pronto by his side, Eli embarks on his slug terror journey. He learns the art of slug slinging from Court Sane, gains his first slugs, including Jules, and faces up against a rival in a thrilling tournament. Meanwhile, Dr. Black, harboring nefarious plans, unveils his sinister goal army at Black Industries. Eli and his companions embark on a challenging journey, scaling a perilous rock wall to reach the first round of a tournament. Trixie, Cord, and Eli each face formidable opponents in one-on-one -on -one duels, showcasing their slug slinging skills. Dr. Black becomes increasingly aware of Eli's rising reputation and intervenes by introducing a destructive gold slug, setting the stage for a rivalry between them. As the tournament progresses to 3-on-3 three three duels, the Shane Gang confronts both experienced opponents and shadowy threats lurking in Slug Terror. Despite setbacks, the bond between Eli and his friends strengthens, culminating in the determination to protect Slugterra from impending dangers and the manipulative schemes of Dr. Black, as they set out on their mecha beasts to face new challenges and safeguard their world. Following a duo with CC, the gang embarks on a mission to purchase boosters for the gear. However, the shop owner demands Slugs as payment, leading Eli to reluctantly part with Joel's. Regretting this decision, Eli confronts the shop owner, revealing his association with Dr. Black and his role in supplying slugs to the villain. In a fierce showdown with Black's enforcer, El Diablos Nacho, the gang learns that Black's henchmen have taken jewels and the other slugs. Fearing jewels might be gold, Eli resolves to infiltrate Black's fortress, while Pronto, Koa, and Trixie tunnel underground to rescue the slugs. Eli engages Black in a duel to distract him. After the intense battle, the gang manages to escape with jewels and successfully liberates the other slugs from captivity. During their mission to secure a Frostcrawler slug, Pronto's actions inadvertently propel all slugs in the cavern to reach a dangerous speed of 100 miles per hour, causing the surroundings to freeze rapidly. Burpee's fire abilities create an escape route through the encroaching ice, while a Frostcrawler slug attaches itself to their team. However, this incident damages Elu's blaster, leading them to seek repairs from the legendary blaster expert Redhook in Quiet Lawn Cavern. The allure of the slug run race with a crystal lit slug prize entices Eli despite his friend's reluctance. Joined by his gang, they line up the starting point alongside rival Cedo and racing champion Vance Bolt. During the race, as they near a tunnel, Vance's boosters give him an etch and Eli, propelled by a slug, crosses the finish line second. Vance recognizes Ellie's commitment, gifting him the crystalid slug. However, Cedo, revealed to be a black agent, demands the crystalid only to fall into Pronto's pitfall. The gang's pursuit of the lightning fast hoverbug slug takes a frustrating turn when their mecha beast experiences a mysterious malfunction. As the elusive hoverbug escapes, they head to the Great Western Forge for help only to find it under new management by Darius Yorman, who's revealed to be sabotaging mechas with dark water for Dr. Black's benefit. Trixie and Cord are captured but later freed, and with the cave troll's aid, they thwart the scheme. Although some mechas are gold, Eli uses Doc to cleanse them, saving the day. Meanwhile, Dr. Black continues plotting and intensifies gold production with Nacho. The Shane Gang ventures into Deadweed Cavern in search for Fright Guy slugs, encountering both ghostly figures and a dark water mining operation. They witness Nacho using dark water to gold slugs and decide to destroy the dark water supply. 
With the help of a friendly Fright Guy slug and the ghosts, they apprehend Nacho, but some dark water containers are still taken by Black's goons, setting the stage for future conflict. Two brothers, Lock and Load, attack a group of slingers using Fandango slugs, prompting a distress call to Eli's gang for help. While they fend off the attackers, the other slingers' mechas are damaged. The gang offers to transport the Fandango slugs to Bullseye Cavern to save them. En route, they encounter Lock and Load again, taking an alternate path through the perilous Shadow Clan territory. Captured by the Shadow Clan but later rescued by Burpee, they reach Bullseye, where another attack scatters the Fandango slugs. Trixie discovers a hidden reserve of dark water beneath the cavern. After repelling Lock and Load again, Eli works to neutralize the dark water using Duck, powered up by a Fandango slug brought by Pronto. A horde of Fandangos further boosts Duck's strength, ultimately saving the cavern. Trixie convinces the gang to hunt the River Enigma slug, attracting other hunters. Eli tries to stop them from destroying the forest, but things escalate, leading to a duel. During the confrontation, Eli saves the slug from a deadly trap, only to discover it's the Enigma. The true owner of the trap, Gerard Stalker, demands Enigmo's return and Eli is hit by Enigmo's abilities, distorting his vision. Now the gang must work together to find Enigmo, evade Stalker, and guide Eli as they navigate a series of traps. Despite challenges, they eventually outsmart Stalker and Eli's vision is restored when Enigmo hits Stalker, causing him to retreat. The gang decides not to sell Enigmo, valuing their adventure together more. The Shane Gang is ambushed by Dr. Black's troops and is saved by a slinger named Twist, who owns a rare thuglet slug named Loki. Twist joins them and they plan to raid a ghoul storage stronghold, disguising themselves as guards. They get a card of ghouls but are confronted by Nacho outside. They escape on mechs with a wagon of ghouls but are followed, leading to a confrontation. Twist uses Loki to recapture the ghouls, and they return home with their new ally. However, Twist secretly reports to Dr. Black after leaving the gang. Later, the Shane Gang, along with Twist, devises a plan to rob a train carrying Dr. Black's last batch of dark water. However, they are trapped by El Diablo's Nacho, and Cord realizes that Twist is actually working for Dr. Black. During a fight, Twist reveals his allegiance and tells Eli that he is an orphan because of Will Shane. While Eli gains the upper hand in their duel, Twist manages to escape. In the end, Dr. Black replaces El Diablo's Nacho with Twist and sends Nacho back to the deep caverns. Danapur arrives at the Shane Gang's hideout searching for a hidden treasure that she believes Will Shane left behind. She hints at its location and the gang discovers a chest encased in molten magma that can only be opened by the forged smelter. While trying to find this creature in magma caverns, Dana arrives first and scares off most of them, leaving only one. She reveals her father was betrayed by Will Shane and opens the chest only to find ordinary items inside. However, she discovers a device that summons the Shadow Clan. The gang escapes and Eli communicates with the Shadow Clan using the device, learning that he is not yet ready to harness its full power. Dana takes the second device from the chest and disappears. A ridiculed adventurer announces plans for an expedition to the surface known as the Burning World, based on a journal written by Eli's great uncle. Eli, wanting to stop him, sneaks out of the hideout, unaware that Trixie and Cord have spotted him. Misunderstanding his intentions, the gang follows him to the expedition meeting point. Upon arrival, the adventurer mistakes Eli's presence as a sign of interest in the journey. However, the gang remains frustrated with Eli's secrecy and decides to leave. Eli successfully steals the journal, prompting the adventurer and a group of slingers to chase him back to the hideout. There, Eli finally reveals that the burning world is real, and they engage in a duel with the pursuing explorers. The situation escalates when Cord is taken hostage, leading Eli to burn the journal using Burpee as a last resort. The adventurer departs, branded a fraud. Eli then discloses the truth to the gang, revealing the tunnel through which he arrived in Slug Terra from the surface. Mad scientist Quentin creates Robo Slugs, a new generation of slugs with combined abilities. After he attacks a university, Kate and Tobias turn to the Shane Gang. With a giant robot, Quentin initially triumphs, but later, during the fight, the Shane Gang cracks his robot's window and eventually defeats it. Quentin's past reveals an incident that causes slug phobia. Now free from his phobia, he finds solace in his newfound affinity for a slug named Noodle. However, when imprisoned, Quentin accepts an offer from Dr. Black to work for him, setting the stage for future challenges. 
Shanai, the renowned master of stock slinging, challenges Eli to meet her after a bar fight. The next day, a crowd of aspiring slingers gathers for a chance to be trained by her, including Eli's own gang members. Shanai initiates a competition called the Winnowing, eliminating most contenders. Eli learns that Shanai trained both Will Chain and Dr. Black, inadvertently leading Black towards his dark path. When Black attacks, Shanai faces off against him while Eli duels Twist, ultimately defeating him. However, Twist's ploy buys time for Black to strike Shanai with a deadly shot. In her final moments, Shanai Slug survives as Eli avenges her, defeating Black and bidding farewell at her funeral. The gang visits Red Hook, aiming to create a fusion blaster for Eli. Initially hesitant, Red Hook discloses that he requires a Vitalis crystal for the double barrel blaster. The gang departs in search of one, arriving at the scrap heap, where Cord finds a Vitalis crystal hidden in an air freshener. As they secure it, they encounter the Scrap Force, a group of slingers led by the cunning boss Ember. A skirmish ensues, and the gang faces defeat when a Schmitta is deployed. Eli then challenges Ember, who unveils additional limbs and launches a slug barrage. After a fierce duel, the gang manages to escape with the crystal, with Ember in pursuit, but he ends up trapped in deep storage. They return the crystal to Red Hook, who commences work on the double barrel, while Dr. Black advances his Gatler mend. Shane Gang confronts Dr. Black and his destructive plans involving Black's train, which threatens to destroy everything in his path. They ultimately fail, leading to the destruction of Lumino Cavern. However, a timely arrival by the Shadow Clan provides a turning point in the battle. Eli's attempt to use a fusion shot leads to unintended consequences, and the Shadow Clan takes him captive. Meanwhile, Trixie, Cord, and Pronto race against Black to prevent further destruction. Ultimately, Eli unlocks the ability to see Slug Auras with the Shadow Clan's help, leading to a powerful fusion shot that defeats Black and destroys the train. The Shane Gang faces off against Nacho in Mole Mound. During the fierce duel, Pronto, initially reluctant to be there, becomes entangled in the conflict. However, his bandanas slip off, revealing his identity as the rightful king of the Monoloids. As they attempt to resolve the situation and track down Nacho, Pronto's responsibilities as king become evident, leading to a comical series of events involving absurd citizen complaints. Despite Pronto's initial reluctance, he decides to uphold his role when challenged by a Molinoid named Sido. The episode alternates between the Shane Gang's efforts to find a valuable map and Pronto's hilarious predicaments as a reluctant king. Eventually, the Shane Gang and Pronto reunite to thwart Nacho's plans and save the day. Upon discovering that Dr. Black has resurfaced in Slug Terra, the Shane Gang takes on the task of transporting him to Stalagmite 17 for containment. However, their journey is interrupted by Quentin and his Titan tanks. As he attempts to free Black in a decisive moment, Eli stumbles upon a newfound ability, Mecha Morphing, triggered by achieving high speeds in his Mecha. A fierce showdown unfolds, leading to Eli's triumph over Black, finally succeeding in getting him to Stalagmite 17 for containment. However, Black is soon freed from his imprisonment, prompting the Shane Gang to leave Stalagmite 17 to plan their next moves. Answering a distress call in a distant cavern, the Shane Gang joins forces with a group of slingers, including Rookie. They plan an assault to dismantle a barrier, with Rookie initially struggling to use his new abilities. After breaching the barrier and attempting to infiltrate a fortress, they encounter a dark bane god. During their attack on the fortress, Rookie gains confidence, but Burpee is briefly captured before being rescued. Their victory is marred by distress calls reporting Black's invasions across multiple caverns. Their initial attempt to rally cavern residents against Black's raids fails, revealing that Black is megamorphed to his top ghouls. Fleeing from a confrontation with Nacho, they head to Red Hook's location in Quiet Lawn Cavern, only to discover that Black has taken Red Hook hostage to create accelerators for him. During an escape, Eli is briefly captured by ultimately frees himself with Burpee's help. Together, they uncover Black's sinister plans involving a terror portal to the Dark Caverns. A slagout between Red Hook and Black ensues, with the two slug slingers clashing inside Black's citadel. After a close encounter, the gang manages to escape and reunite. Dr. Black initiates a terror portal to flood Slug Terra with Dark Banes. Meanwhile, the Shane Gang prepares for an all out assault on Black's citadel, meticulously selecting slugs that can mega morph. Inside, Eli faces off against Black himself, while Trixie and Cord battle Black's minions. 
Pronto embarks on a mission to enlist the Shadow Clan's help, leading to a decisive moment when they join the fray. As the battle rages on, Eli confronts Black at a Terra portal, resulting in a gripping showdown that sends Black and the Darkbane plummeting into the deep caverns. The episode takes an unexpected turn when Blight, riding a dinosaur from the Cavern of Time, launches a surprise attack, setting the stage for further thrilling adventures. The Shane Gang face a new threat as they are ambushed by the Scrap Force Gang and their leader, Boss Ember, at the Caverna Mall. Boss Ember challenges Eli to a duel, which leads to accidental transformation of a Megamorph Slug, destabilizing the situation. After defeating the Scrap Force Gang and freeing the Mall Cops, the Shane Gang's curiosity is piqued by a mysterious girl reading, and they set off for Gateway Cavern to investigate. There, they encounter enigmatic mass slingers and a powerful creature called the Dark Slinger, who can control people with dark energy. Eli engages in a high-stakes battle with the Dark Slinger, leading to an explosion and his apparent capture. Inside Eli's mind, the goon Doc, who is hosting the Dark Slinger, tries to take control of Eli, but is met with fierce resistance. The goon Doc reveals his plan to use Eli's knowledge of the caverns and the creation of ghouls to wreak havoc. Eli's inner battle continues, leading to a confrontation where the Dark Slinger unveils the existence of another Infernus Guardian named Junji. Ultimately, Eli, with the help of Burpee and Doc, regains control, and the goon Doc is defeated. However, the gang must deal with Junji, the newly awakened guardian and his Infernus. Later, Eli has a nightmare-like vision of ghoul slugs, his father's cryptic message to gather the five, and a menacing clawed hand emerging from dark water. The following day, the Shane gang, including newcomer Junji, trains in the art of slug food, when a bizarre ghoul transformation affects their art slugs. They suspect a new threat. Guided by the Shadow Clan, they embark on a mission to retrieve elemental slugs scattered across Slug Terra. They successfully rescue the Earth Elemental in Quarter Main Cavern and the Water Elemental on an island in a Gould Cavern Sea. However, they are unable to prevent the transformation of Quiet Lawn Cavern by Dr. Black and the Goon, who is now hosting a new Slinger. The gang discovers that Dog, one of their slugs, is the Energy Elemental and locates the Fire Elemental in Upright Cavern. A fierce battle ensues, and during the chaos, Eli's father, Will Shane, is revealed as a Dark Slinger, who is now Goon's new host. With teamwork, they defeat the Goon, but Will helps them push Black and the Goon to the deep caverns along with himself. The Shane Gang reunites the elemental slugs and uses their power to reverse the damage done to Slug Terra. They vow to rescue Will Shane while Slug Terra is restored to its former glory. Shane Gang responds to the stress call in a town terrorized by a colossal turtle named Turtleton. Initially contemplating using lettuce to calm it, they soon realize the creature's destructive power and struggle to deal with it. Eli's attempt to learn Slugfu with Junji takes him away from the gang, while the mischievous elemental slugs cause chaos in their absence. Pronto's futile efforts to contain them with jellyfish goop result in hilarious consequences, leaving him without pants. The gang embarks on a journey to retrieve the rogue elementals. Simultaneously, Eli discovers his unique slug bond and starts his slug food training. In Quiet Lawn Cavern, a young girl named Sally, aided by the elementals, confronts the Hula Gang who flees in the face of their combined forces, concluding the adventure with humor and triumph. As Welder Walter, his co-workers, and the King of Sling explore a newly discovered hidden cave in what seems to be a mining operation, they stumble upon an ancient artifact of unknown origin. However, their exploration is interrupted when the Shadow Clan emerges, leading to a fierce battle that is halted by the arrival of the Shane Gang. Eli and his team, accompanied by the Elementals, face the Shadow Clan, and the clan leader reveals that the Elementals haven't been seen in a thousand years, potentially signifying a new era. They discovered that the ancient artifact might serve as a gateway to distant places and decide to use it to find Will Shane, with the condition that they protect the 99 caverns during Eli's absence. The gang also agrees to collaborate with the King of Sling. After passing through the portal, they find themselves in Serenity Cavern, where they encounter the outlaws, who blame Junji for the chaos that has plagued their caverns for 20 years. 
The gang, joined by the outlaws, embarks on a mission to confront the Emperor, who seeks to drain elemental slugs for his dark purposes. Along the way, they face challenges, discover the Emperor's sinister plans, and ultimately engage in battle to save Slugterra and its inhabitants. In the serene Peach Blossom Spring Cavern, the gang and local residents gather for Slugmas, intrigued by Junchi's story that dates back 88 generations to ancient China. The narrative unfolds with Yang, a remarkable archer, and the power-hungry First Emperor of China, who sought the elixir of immortality and dominion over all. Yang's resistance was valiant but futile, leading to his plunge into a river, unconscious and eventually finding the hidden sanctuary of Peach Blossom Spring Cavern. Here, he discovered beauty, slugs, and solace, using this haven to safeguard his people from the Emperor's grasp. Yang's creation of Slugfu, blending archery, martial arts and slug powers, forged him into the inaugural Eastern Champion. Yet, a traitorous criminal exposed the cavern's location to the Emperor, sparking a fierce battle that ended with the Emperor's fall into corrupting Dark Walter. This granted him immortality, but changed him irrevocably, turning him into a dark, powerful figure who crafted the stone warriors and attempted to breach the Guardian Gate, which had blocked his return. Junji's story extends through time, culminating in his own ascension as the Eastern Champion, the Emperor's resurgence, and the impending confrontation as the Guardian Gate, which shapes the destiny of Slugterra. In the end, we get a shot of Junji's former teacher, Line, now transformed into Daifu, seeking advice from the Emperor's statue. Later, Pronto unwittingly wields the Emperor's Sword Blaster, becoming miraculously unbeatable as he defeats all of the Shane Gang's adversaries, even overpowering Underlord Holt. Lady Daifu recognizes this chance to manipulate Holt and orchestrates a trap for the Shane Gang using a formidable new weapon called the Iron Warrior. While the gang manages to evade the Iron Warrior's clutches, Peach Blossom is destroyed, and Daifu seizes possession of the Emperor's Sword, foreshadowing future conflicts. Soon after, Daifu uses a sword to revive the Emperor, and his first command is to rally up all the Underlords and create more Iron Warriors. The Emperor then commands Daifu to hunt down the Eastern Champion, and a battle ensues between the two groups. But once again, the Iron Warrior proves too powerful, and the Shane Gang ends up in jail. They are then given an audience with the Emperor, who introduces two more Iron Warriors. However, Daifu must give up her life force to power these warriors. The Shane Gan tries to intervene, but it is already too late. And the Emperor's army is now at full force. In the end, the Shane Gang is beaten, but is teleported to safety by one of his slugs. Daifu is on the brink of death, so the gang heals her using slugs and she returns to her polite persona of Lian. Now the gang leaves her resting and returns to the Easter Cavern, where they face off in a decisive battle against the Emperor. They are joined by a number of allies, all of whom even the odds temporarily. When a recovered Lian arrives on the battlefield, it is only a matter of time before the tide shifts. Eventually, the Emperor is thrown back into the Guardian Gate and sealed away once again. The episode ends with the Shane Gang and their allies celebrating their victory and vowing to continue fighting to protect Slugterra from the Emperor's evil.